30. I'm Bart Bedsall. And I'm Heather Skold. A year-long investigation uncovered one of the largest drug seizures in Pueblo County history. Today, the sheriff of the DEA announced the $1 million bust. KRDO News Channel 13's Katie Spencer was there. She joins us live from where the operation took place on East 9th Street, Pueblo's east side. Katie. Yeah, Bart and Heather, the joint operation took more than a year's time, but it netted in 21 pounds of meth, 8 ounces of cocaine, and 10 ounces of heroin. Now, two people are in custody, 46-year-old Benito Granado Valenzuela, a Mexican national who has been deported several times from the U.S., and 33-year-old Aleda Lopez, who was living in Arizona. At a news conference today, Sheriff Kirk Taylor said the operation included three separate buses. The first one happened in September of last year when 12 pounds of meth were found in the lining of a car seat. The second bust was in October where 8 pounds of meth were found in a gas tank of a vehicle. And the most recent happened on May 19th when investigators found 2 pounds of meth, 8 ounces of cocaine, and 10 ounces of heroin in dog food. Now the DEA says without the help of the local law enforcement, these seizures wouldn't have been possible. All this meth was destined for here. This wasn't going to uh, Denver. This wasn't going anywhere. This is 21 pounds of meth that was taken off the streets from Pueblo. Agents say the drugs came from Mexico through Arizona. That's why the quality was almost 100%. Now the investigation isn't over, and Sheriff Kirk Taylor says he hopes there will be more arrests expected in this case. Reporting live in Pueblo, Katie Spencer, KRDO News Channel 13.